following is a production of Cary TV, the town of Cary's government access channel. Hello, I'm Harold Weinbrecht, Mayor of Cary, and this is Cary Matters, the monthly program designed to help keep you informed about issues that the council members are working on. Joining me as co-host this month is Gail Adcock, who is the District D representative. Gail has been on the council since 2007 and currently serves as the Mayor Pro Tem. Gail, thanks for being here. Thanks for asking me. Are you ready to get started? I certainly am. Okay, why don't you give us a rundown of what's on this month's episode. Okay. Our main topic for this episode is the Summit on the Future. We'll give an update on downtown roundabouts and talk about spring days. Mayor, why don't you tell us about the Summit on the Future? Okay. Early next month, May 2nd at 6 p.m. at the Embassy Suites to be exact, the town will host a huge public involvement effort to kickstart the community engagement portion of Imagine Carry. And everyone within the sound of my voice has just got to be there. It's called the Summit for the Future, and it's going to be critically important in determining what Carry will look, feel, and be like in the next 20 or more years. The summit will be a part presentation and mostly interaction by everyone who attends. And by everyone, we mean everyone who cares about Cary. Residents, business owners, workers, visitors, everyone. Now, imagine Cary has been a topic several times on Cary Matters over the last few months. It's what the Citizen Steering Committee named our long range planning effort, the Cary Community Plan. As a reminder, the Cary Community Plan will be a strategic guide that captures the values and aspirations of our community. It will set forth the long-range vision for development, transportation, housing, environment, economic development, and related topics. That said, some people may still be wondering why we're going through the time and expense for such a plan. Well, the bottom line for me is this. Cary we enjoy today is the result of careful community visioning and planning by citizens 20 to 30 years ago. And it's critical that today's Cary citizens take a fresh look to guide Cary successfully forward for the next 20 to 30 years. That's very true, Harold. It's also important to know that Town Council has spent the past year working with staff, consultants, and many community members in designing the community planning process. The process has been designed to create a two-part integrated foundation. First, solid technical research on conditions and trends, and second, the values we have about the kind of community we want. We're placing great emphasis on an inclusive process so that anyone who cares about the future of our community may participate. And that gets us back to the main topic, Mayor. Tell us more about the Summit on the Future. Oh, and back we go. Here are a few more details about the Summit. First, I can't stress enough that it will be very interactive. Each participant, and we're hoping for hundreds to turn out, will have a handheld clicker to share your specific reactions to questions and issues. The event will include a keynote address by a national thought leader, Christopher Leinberger, who will reveal future trends in community planning and demographics. Expect a three-part program. Part one, demographic shifts and what's attracting creative talent. Part two, we'll focus on quality of place. That is, how do we continue to create desirable, high-quality places to live, work, and play? Part three will focus on economic prosperity. We'll be looking for long term and talking about how to ensure our choices today keep us on a positive trajectory. 
For each of these three parts, there'll be a national perspective and the carry conditions and several key questions about the implications for the future. And that's where your handheld voting devices will come in. Sounds like fun, actually. And if you're wondering whether you should attend, by all means come. The summit will be stim stimulating and informative. If you care about the future of Cary and you want to have your voice heard as part of this unique planning process, you should attend this event. You will not only learn about new trends in planning and how they affect Cary, but you will also get a chance to add your voice in helping to plan the future of Cary. The summit is free and open to the public and anyone who lives, works, or cares about the future of Cary is invited to attend but reservations are required. Reserve your seat at imaginecary.org or by calling the town's planning department at 919-469-4082. What about the folks that can't make it on May 2nd? If you can't attend the summit, it's important to find a way to participate in other Imagine Carry activities since everyone's perspective is needed for charting our future. There will be other public events in June and November, as well as an open house events in 2014. We'll be doing quite a bit virtually as well, so be sure to check out imaginecarry.org, as well as the project's Facebook page, Imagine Carry. I'm so excited. You know, this is great stuff, and you know, the summit is going to be a tremendous thing, and it's going to have a great turnout. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to take some of the questions we've been hearing from you. activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. So school's out and you're looking for ways to keep your kids entertained and happy? Carrie offers camps and programs that appeal to even the most unique imagination. Get the school's out 411 from the pros. Camp was a lot of fun and I love the teachers. I learned a lot of fun things. I really enjoyed camp. camp because I made lots of new friends. I love it when the kids come to class and they have so much fun. I love making new friends. The town of Cary has the 411 when school's out. Registration starts February 7th. Camps fill quickly. We're back. Thanks for staying with us. It's time now for us to address some of the questions the council's been getting from you. Gail, what do you have for us? Well, we have been getting questions about the downtown roundabouts. Despite the town's best efforts, we all know that the detours associated with construction have been frustrating at times. Folks just want to know when things will get back to normal. And that's a good question. Well, I'm happy to say that we're not going back to normal we're moving ahead to better than ever with the completion of the roundabout, which is slated for late April, early May. And for those who work in or travel through the area, we know the end can't come soon enough. Just know that the roundabout will not only be an attractive gateway to downtown, but will also help traffic move much more smoothly and safely. Well, that's certainly good news to everyone, Mayor, and uh, not to be the bearer of bad news, but we are ready, getting ready to start the second roundabout, and maybe you should give an update on that one as well. Okay. All right. Well, the bad news is that construction on East Chatham roundabout is starting this month and will run through July. You can expect detours and delays just as we had with the West roundabout, but once complete, both roundabouts will include brick sidewalks, new street lighting, and landscaped median islands with stamped concrete. And do you have one other question? Yes, I do. Everyone is eager to know about this year's Spring Days Festival. Oh, I can answer that question. That's an easy one. 
Well, it will be held on Saturday, April 27th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Fred G. Bond Metro Park on High House Road. This will be the 20th Spring Days, which is kind of hard to believe. Wow, 20 years. Do you know that's as long as my family and I have lived in Cary? <laughs> This year's Spring Days features over 180 local artists, entertainment on four stages, a children's village, concessionaires with your favorite festival foods, and a storyteller stage, all in the beautiful, serene setting of Bond Park. This year, the town will once again celebrate Earth Day in conjunction with Spring Days. There will be Earth Day exhibits that provide information on the role our citizens can play in preserving our natural resources and protecting the environment. Because I'm a nurse and a nurse practitioner, you won't be surprised to hear that one part of spring days that I think is really great is the Passport to Fitness. The Passport is available at any fitness stop throughout the Spring Days Festival and highlights activities located at each stop. Each fitness stop includes activities suitable for all ages, designed to help participants balance their health, environment, physical and cultural well-being. After completing the passport, it's returned to any fitness stop for a cool prize. Individuals who visit all the fitness stops listed on the passport will be entered into our grand prize drawing. Spring Days is a fun event the whole family will enjoy, so be sure to mark your calendars for April 27th. It's on my calendar, you can rest assured. Well, oh, I, I was told about our festival's coordinator, Joey Ennis, not to miss the baby dragon that will be hatched near the lake. Sounds like a must-see to me. Well, after the break, we're going to give you some insights in what's coming up at Town Hall and how you can be involved and included. time for this week in bad stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 260. That's how many runs were walked in with the bases loaded last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one though. Three and four. No idea. That's the number of kids who witnessed bullying. Three out of four. Not a good stat. No, it's not, but that can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. You can visit stopbullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at stopbullying.gov. Enjoy arts in the park at the 20th Annual Spring Days Arts and Crafts Festival on April 27th. Spring Days welcomes 180 artists from across North Carolina. Enjoy arts and crafts, delicious foods, entertainment, and Earth Day celebration, fitness trail, and lots more for the entire family. Be on the lookout for Bond Lake's very own Lady Dragon of the Lake, Saturday, April 27th in Cary's Fred G. Bond Metro Park. For details, visit townofcary.org and search Spring Days or call 919-469-4061. We're back in this final segment of Carry Matters. We want to let you know what's happening in April and how you can be involved. Gail? The Council Standing Committees both meet this month. The Operations Committee meets on the 4th, and the Planning and Development Committee meets on the 11th. The full Council has a work session scheduled for the 16th, and our only regular full Council meeting this month is on the 18th. There is also a joint meeting with Marsville scheduled for the 22nd to talk about issues pertaining to both towns. That's right. Well, that's it for this edition of Cary Matters. We appreciate your watching and hope that what we've shared has been of interest. Please let us hear from you. Your time's important. We want this show to be of value as we work to bring you, our citizens, closer to your government. And remember, help keep Cary litter-free, clean, green, and beautiful by volunteering with our Spruce program. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for choosing to call Cary home. This has been a production of Cary TV. Visit the Town of Cary's website at townofcary.org.